Welcome to Surgery Squad's Virtual Cosmetic Botox Procedure. I'm Dr. Susie, and I'll be assisting you with the injections today. Onabotulinum toxin A, commonly known as Botox, is a powerful neurotoxin that is produced by bacteria that develops in smoked meats, such as sausage. Luckily for the millions of people receiving Botox injections each year, scientists have found a way to safely use it, not only for cosmetic purposes, but for medical conditions as well. The most common areas for a patient to receive Botox and cosmetic treatments are between the eyebrows, the outer corners of the eyes, known as crow's feet, and the forehead. It works by relaxing the muscles that cause skin to crease. The ideal candidate for Botox injection is someone that is in good physical and emotional health and is realistic about the results of the Botox treatment. Botox is not recommended for individuals with an allergy to bovine products, neurological disorders, skin infections, or for women who are pregnant or breastfeeding. Those taking medications need to consult their physician before getting Botox. All medications have side effects, and Botox is no exception. Some of the minor yet temporary side effects of Botox include dry mouth, fatigue, headaches, and neck pain. Some of the more serious side effects include problems swallowing, speaking, or breathing. In these cases, a patient should seek medical attention immediately. And remember, only a licensed physician should be administering Botox injections. Depending on the laws and regulations in your area, other healthcare professionals, such as registered nurses, medical assistants, and nurse practitioners may be permitted to give Botox injections under close supervision of a licensed physician. If you're ready, let's scrub in. To begin, we'll use an alcohol wipe to cleanse the area that we'll be putting the injections into. After using an alcohol wipe to cleanse the skin, we'll need to wait a few seconds before we can inject the Botox. This is because alcohol can denature the Botox, causing it to lose its effectiveness. When injecting Botox into the patient's skin, make sure that you're injecting away from the eye and never towards the eye. We'll immediately clean the injection areas with a damp piece of gauze. We don't want to use alcohol wipes because, as we stated before, the alcohol will cause the Botox to lose its effectiveness. Now you take a stab at injecting Botox into the skin. Great job! Now finish up this side and we'll move on to the other side of the patient's face. Let's do the other side now. Perfect! Our patient should start to see some changes in her wrinkles within 24 hours and continue to see improvement over the next week. The visible results of Botox will last anywhere between 4 to 6 months, depending on a person's medical history and lifestyle. 
Fortunately for our patient, no recovery time is required, so she'll be able to resume her normal, everyday activity immediately. You did a fantastic job, and I think our patient will be extremely pleased with the results of her treatment. Check out our other videos on surgerysquad.com.